So this is a small video that I just wanted to do to provide a little bit more uh, clarity on the vase, vase, or whatever you call it mode within a flash print. So that mode that I'm referring to is in the infill tab on the expert mode right here and how we can use it. So I was demonstrating here with this wild looking shape before. So what I want to do this time around is actually bring up Blender and just quickly just quickly do a similar sort of shape but you know, a little a little bit more customizable um, just to sort of show it off so um, I'm going to you know this is not a blender tutorial if you want to actually find out how to use this program a little bit more and I am no expert um, I would suggest giving 3d uh, sorry blender guru uh, a look on Facebook I saw Facebook YouTube that's where we are uh, as he has a really brilliant tutorial series on well on blender um all right sorry that's the wrong thing that i wanted i constantly do that i create myself a circle instead of a cylinder all right so mesh thanks for bearing with me so we're going to make it 16 sides we're going to do that and i am going to get into our edit mode I'm going to select the face, extrude it up here a bit. Then I'm going to go back into here. Just to sort of um, create a... Uh, I'm going to call this a vase. And just because I want to be a little bit fancy, I reckon I'll probably just put a modifier on it, potentially. Uh, but before I do that, I actually need to do something else. I need to get rid of this face down the bottom here. Otherwise, it is going to create a problem. As is that. And then we add our modifier. And that's just made it a little bit smoother. Boom. Let me get out of that. Okay, so that's two ways that we could actually make a, a, a vase, is to actually do it like this, but I'm going to turn it back into a solid shape for the purpose of this tutorial. Come on, get the right... There we go. Fill that. Come on, click the right... right sort of thing for this as I said this is an unscripted video I'm just winging it as I go and let's make it solid so we can actually see what we're looking at here because there's a lot of um, <laughs> there's a lot going on with this model blenders actually struggling a little Yep, scale all right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to export this as an SDL, and then we're going to bring it into Flash Print as an example. So that files go back over to here. Get rid of this. Load my file. Yep, that should work. Scale. Let's make it. 100. Something's gone wrong. Of course, I've stuffed this. Ah, that's what I did wrong. I didn't select it. You've got to select the uh, the object when you're actually exporting an actual STL. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, let us go back in. New project just to clear that out load a file and now we've actually got a vase, a vase, a monumentally tiny little object scale. Nothing overly fancy but anyway. So this is what we were using to actually demonstrate it. So I have created in all of about three seconds, get off that, um, a relatively simple looking device. If we wanted to make it really cool, let's rotate it. And then we're going to go to start slicing, we're going to turn Vales mode on, and we're going to go ball. And it's going to do its magic. Slice preview, and 
actually before I do that because I, abs I absolutely hate looking at graphs I tell you it's the it's just it annoys me let me get rid of that and there we have it a very very simple little container so what it is it's taking a solid by a activating our vase mode it's turning it down into a a one layer model sorry not a one layer model a one wall model with it's meant to sort of delete the seam on it um and make it hollow basically so just a little bit more in depth on that and what you can actually do with it is you can make some you know some pretty wild shapes within blender where you know like this is this is actually really quite simple you could do multi-faced faceted sort of things to your heart's content and and yeah basically take the solid shape straight over to over to flash print and turn it into a hollow device so you could you know make some wild and wacky bowls which is probably what i would actually do of it or in this case we can make this really cool looking vase thingy um and look it's just a little bit more uh of a look on it i don't think there's any information in this video that wasn't in the actual tutorial series um hopefully you know this just focusing on it provides a little bit more understanding on what it does how it works and what you can do with it you know you can do it um actually i might actually want to save that that looks like it'll be fun what size is it uh well, might make it bigger um so you can i'll go back to that later you can go into uh, here we go we'll go with the flower because that's going to be an absolute nightmare ignore scale it down to 50 percent um, yeah, you can go into phase mode, fast mode with this, and it's not going to work the same, I guess, because, as you can see, we like we got actual horizontal or vertical layers that get smaller as it goes up, but what you can see is it has actually removed the top solid layers between it so there's obviously extents to which you can use vase mode on these sorts of complex shapes that realistically need top solid layers to uh, provide structure it's just not going to work um, so there is a limit obviously to what can be done with it and i honestly think that's probably about all you can sort of do um, with vase mode for the most case i am actually going to pull this up I am going to make it I'm actually going to try and make it as big as I possibly can to be honest because I actually want to print a glow-in-the-dark vase using some rather cool filament and I'm pretty sure this should be able to be printed without support uh... Don't make me a liar, and I'm just doing this in the video just to sort of show it off. Yep, so I can get away without supporting this. So I am going to create this device and hopefully post it up on the uh, FlashForge user group uh, after she is done. So thanks for watching.